Hello to subscribers and random people that watch this uh, video blog. Um, on the last uh, episode, I guess, um, I've um, done a lot of reissues, so when I said that I'm going to do another video about new stuff, so here's the new stuff which are reissues again. <laughs> Yeah, these are left over from the last time and I didn't, I didn't uh, talk about these. So, there are not that many. Uh, first off is Bites of Spring. Um, classic American punk from uh, Discord. Uh, to be honest, punk record is quite, uh, quite good actually. I would uh, recommend that if you like that Discord sound sounding bands, uh, really a pretty hardcore kind of thing. Um, second one is something that I bought today, I haven't listened to it yet, sounds interesting and it's this one, it's called Acid Dreams, it's a compilation actually, apparently a very limited one, not, very well. not that it really matters or it adds to its quality or you know, it makes it better in any kind of way. But it does sound quite interesting. Apparently, it's a compilation that was made by a record owner and record shop owner, sorry. And uh, he just put in some tracks that he found interesting. And these are all, as you would guess from the title, 60s um, psychedelic garage um, punk rock kind of. Thing. So it has a sleeve that says things about, you know, some information about the bands. Um, does have some, uh, some, I don't know most of them. I do know the music machine. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, we'll definitely give it a go. I think it uh, must be quite interesting. Usually these kinds of compilations are, uh, well, we'll see anyway. I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, and also, last <laughs> two issues that I got are these, so Spaceman 3, uh, Sound of Confusion, and a 12, ooh, uh, 12 inch, Take Me to the Other Side, um, Fire Records, excellent issues on heavy cardboard, nice vinyl, um, yeah, this one I, I've listened to, I haven't opened it yet, but I have listened to it because I've got it on MP3. Legally downloaded, of course, uh, and uh, it has um, some covers from uh, uh, bands that they like. Apparently, so I've seen you know using "Touch with My Mind," which is a I think a British band, the Creation. That's that's their name. Hey Man, I don't know from where that is. Roller Coaster, that's third and floor elevators. Uh, Little Doll, which I think is uh, it's a studio song. And some others, which yeah, these are all just covers. So yeah, this is where they found their sound, I guess. So that's that's it with reissues. Uh, getting on to actually new, new, new stuff. On uh, I've been I've purchased recently. So first of all, uh, this one. Zola Jesus. Studio Loom, Studio Loom 2. Uh, I don't think that there is a 1, um, but yeah, it is, um, this is quite, quite a nice uh, white vinyl, you can see. Really nice pressing as well, which is, which is always good. Um, now, musically, um, I'm not sure how to describe it. I think it's, it's mostly around Zola Jesus' uh, Zola Jesus, probably. Uh, her voice, uh, her voice is quite, quite epic, I would say. And um, musically, it has a lot of electronics. It sounds like a um, twisted version of Bats for Lash Lashes, without the good production that she has. Um, definitely recommend to give it a go. Uh, have a listen to it. I'm pretty sure you can find, you know, uh, MySpace and all that. You know, it should be easy to listen to it. It's uh, it's quite good. I, I I recommend that. 
Now, a uh, new album from No on Sub Pop. Uh, by the way, I have to congratulate Sub Pop because I got two albums. This is, this is the first one I'm showing to you, uh, Low Come On. Um, so, congratulations to them. Really nice packaging, heavy cardboard, uh, nice heavy vinyl. Has a download coupon. Yeah, you know, I cannot take my records cannot play my records on my iPhone unfortunately so it's a really good addition there and you know if they want to support people to buy vinyl and buy the physical medium I think that's the way to go and just put in a download code it costs nothing come on let's be realistic about it and you know it's a good thing thing to add basically to, to the purchase of the album so yeah definitely really good one um, you know you know low <laughs> they are really slow they are the slow core band so quite good album it's I, I haven't listened to that much to it um, haven't listened what am I saying it's, <laughs> I haven't listened that much uh, I've, it's only twice that I've listened to it uh, but uh, it's it's quite good it's not on par with you know the old older stuff but I guess that's always what you know you would expect because you have some high expectations and then you listen to it and you say oh you know it's not like the old stuff but I guess that might wear off <clears throat> and you know new stuff might be even better I don't know and uh, this is the one which is Obits again this is the second album I was telling you about I bought from uh, uh, sub pop, uh, nice cardboard again, heavy vinyl, free download, excellent stuff. Now these guys, these guys remind me of a band called um, Mano Rastro Man, which is basically a, a surf garage band with space influences and everything that they, they write about is like around B-movies and Martians coming to Earth and all that kind of stuff but they don't have lyrics, I only have like a couple of songs that they have the lyrics on and they're all instrumental. This is what they reminded me of, although they do have lyrics and they do sing on their songs and um, it's quite good, it's quite good. I wouldn't say that it's fantastic, excellent, you must have it but definitely, you know, give them a go, you might, you might even, you might, you might like it. Uh, I found it, found it enjoyable. Uh, it's not a bad record to own, actually. Uh, now, do 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 Vivian Girls. Um, you probably know them. Uh, Lo-Fi. Uh, from the Lo-Fi scene. It's, you know, a recently resurgent scene, apparently. And first album was... I got rave reviews. This one did not get that, that good reviews. I don't see the reason why it's pretty much the same thing. It has has a sp very specific form. It's like you know, it's lo-fi. It has to be like this, that, and the other, and this is what they do. I think it's quite good if you like lo-fi. <laughs> so if you don't like lo-fi, well, you know, might as well avoid it, I guess. Uh, and now I don't think I have a lot of time, but this is the last one, I guess. This is. Uh, Naked on the Veil from uh, Sacred Bones records. I found I have found that I have an affinity for Sacred Bones records. I have one of the videos that I uploaded was one about the band called Nice Face that just blew me away. And uh, apparently, all Nice uh, Sacred Bones records are interesting. And this one is is the same. Again, it's. Um, I've, I did something really silly with this album. It's actually 45 RPM. I played it on 33 and it was like, hmm, musically it's interesting, but the vocals are a bit suspect. So, yeah, it's, um, how should I put it? I'll tell you in the next video. Uh, 